And I'll tell you, we packed a lot of weather in today. I want to start you out with some of the scenes from earlier today. This is when the storm was moving through the Burlington area. That's the one that produced the two tornadoes we saw out there in Yuma County. This is what it looked like building up a little farther south. Same storm in Cheyenne Wells along the Front Range. This was a beautiful cell that we had that brought us another very pretty sunset here in the Denver area. And this is live at the lightning as seen from our Viero camera in Fort Morgan, lighting up the skies. As far as tomorrow morning, those storms may leave enough moisture for some patchy fog early on. Temperatures reaching the upper 70s by 11 a.m., and we may do the whole thing again tomorrow afternoon. Check out the numbers today, 88 and 60. The normals are 88 and 59, and right now with storms in the area, it's 70 downtown, 66 at the airport, pressure rising, and it's muggy out there, 53 on the dew point, 63% relative humidity. That's the view from our camera live from Westminster and what we're looking at is that storm just to the north of us that is a severe warned storm now across parts of Weld County and Larimer County. The warning in effect until 1030 tonight. Some nickel sized hail possible with that storm. It's heading toward the Platteville area. It's going to arrive in Greeley by about 1036. Kersey by about 1106 should run into Platteville in about the next 20 minutes or so. As far as farther to the south with all that humidity it's likely we'll see more thunderstorm activity develop. Here's the future cast over the next few hours between now and midnight storms to the north over parts of Weld County, Northern Adams County and extending back into Jefferson County. We'll see some fairly good storms even at 2 a.m. down over parts of Littleton and Lone Tree and then finally it diminishes by early morning but there's that patchy fog for the morning hours. Low temperatures going to drop down to the upper 50s to around 60 on the plains. 40s expected in the mountains. Patchy fog early, mostly sunny over the mountains, mostly sunny and warm through mid Day. There's still this weather front that's parked over the eastern plains. So again, tomorrow, some severe storms possible, mainly east of the Denver, isolated storms in the metro, hot and dry back to the west, with highs reaching the upper 90s at Moab, Grand Junction. Upper 80s expected in the Denver area, just upper 70s over toward North Platte, Nebraska. Front range numbers are going to be in the high 80s to near 90 at lower elevation, 70s to near 80 in the mountains with another chance of afternoon storms. Storms end late tonight, followed by gradual clearing, although some patchy fog in the morning. Tomorrow, expect dry conditions in the morning, chance of more storms in the afternoon, high 88. The heat's coming in with drier weather heading our way for Thursday, 93. Then Friday and Saturday back to another kind of stormy pattern with mid to upper 80s and thunderstorms likely, especially Saturday afternoon. After that, it's going to get hot and dry. Low to mid 90s with not much in the way of thunderstorm activity for early next week.